Now we are ready to do a titration for determination of the milligrams of ascorbic acid in vitamin C. So I'm holding a vitamin C container. So this container uh, is labeled to have 1000 milligrams of vitamin C. Vitamin C is ascorbic acid and the tablet itself contains other fillers and you can learn if you can see it but it has I'll read it for you in addition to ascorbic acid it has cellulose citrus bioflavonoid stearic acid and silica and vegetable magnesium stearate and all of that so it's not pure ascorbic acid so the tablets are roughly one and a half grams a piece I weighed one already this is what they look like and then we need to titrate so we're going to help the tablets dissolve by grinding them so I took a couple of tablets and I used my mortar and pestle and ground it to fine powder and I want you to record these masses for our three titrations so I'm going to use my weigh boat like before and somehow my balance when the masses get heavier it does, takes out the digits of significance. So here with the weigh boat, because it's pretty light, I can zero the mass and I can get uh, three sig fig out of it. So let's go ahead and add our 0.5 grams. So it's going to get it close to 0.5. It doesn't have to be exactly 0.5. Okay, this is pretty close, 0.501. So our, for our first uh, titration mass for the vitamin C, the mass of the impure sample is 0.5. I don't know, I just got lucky to get it to exactly 0.5. You don't want to get these masses to exact. You just want to get them approximately the same to, to the value and move on. So record the first mass of our flask one is 0.5 and <clears throat> I'm going to transfer this. So again, remember the solid method of transferring. It tends to not scatter the powder. So I'm going to transfer the contents to this flask. So this um, flask contents, or the vitamin C content, I should say, should get dissolved. So I'm putting it on a hot plate. I already have my hot plate on, and the temperature is not really 57. And I have a thermometer that goes in there, and we can don't really have to measure the temperature, but the the temperature. Oops. I guess this doesn't work too well. There. So now let's weigh the second sample. Again, 0.5 grams. I'm going to zero the mass. This is for the second flask. I won't try to get it to 0.5, so here it is. So for your second flask, put 0 0.520 grams. And that goes into the second smaller flask.
All right, so my hot plate has enough surface, so I'm putting a second flask to heat that up too. Now let's work on getting our third flask measured. So another 0.5, roughly 0.5 for that. That's good enough. So 0.499 is our third flask content of the tablet. Or 0.498. Let's go with that. So now let's transfer the last sample. Okay, now this one has to get dissolved too. So we have our three flasks on a hot plate because vitamin C is water soluble, and uh, but it needs it's ascorbic acid, but it does need the heat to dissolve. So that's why we are adding uh, we're putting them on the hot plate, and then after it gets placed on the hot plate for. I don't know, roughly maybe 20 more minutes. When it gets hot, I'll I'll make sure I'll remove them, and then at at that point I'll add some water and I'll do the titration. So I'll show you the titration for these three flasks once uh, we give it enough time for the solid to dissolve. 